Grandma, Grandma, where are you? Mimi. Oh, there you are, Grandma. Ah! <laughs> Oh dear, it is just stunned baby ox. It won't harm you. Grandma, what are you doing sitting over here? I, I am enjoying the gentle breeze, the sweet song of birds, and the calmness of this garden, my dear. Grandma, can you tell me a story? Of course, my dear. Let me begin by sharing a tale of a mother and daughter, a story that unfolds in a village much like our own. Once upon a time, in a small village resembling ours, lived a mother and her young daughter named Kallu. Their lives were simple, yet their bond was as strong as the root of the trees that surrounded their home. Every day, the mother's cow, Amini, gifted them abundant milk. This precious milk was their livelihood, and together they set off to the market. Their mornings were filled with hope, their cans filled with Amini's milk, a gift from the heart of that gentle cow. A lady approached Kalu and inquired about the price of the milk. It was just 10 rupees per liter. Excuse me, young girl. How much is the milk? It is 10 rupees per liter, Auntie. 10 rupees? That's a big match for me. Well, Auntie, it is the price that help us take care of our money and our family. I understand, dear. What do you say? I am on a tight budget. It's good fresh milk from our money, our cow. She is like family to us. Hmm. Maybe next time? Despite of the reasonable price, the lady hesitated. With a polite note, the lady walked away, leaving Kalu with a feeling of disappointment. Despite the disappointment, Kalu's spirit remained resilient, and she continued to offer her meal with a hope in her heart. As the day carried on, a second lady, curious about the scene, approached Kalu's stall. Hello there, everyone. What do you have there? Namaste, Auntie. We have fresh milk from our cow, Amini. Milk, you say? But it uh, looks so creamy and rich. Is it some kind of lassie? No, Auntie. It is pure cow milk. Good for drinking and cooking. Oh my, I thought it was lassie. You know, my office is right around the corner. And I would use a refreshing drink. Well dear, I am on my way to work and a little treat might just brighten my day. Here, have a taste. I'm sure you'll like it. Oh dear, you see, I was hoping for some lassi today. I'm sorry, but I don't need milk. That's alright. I'll be maybe next time. With a friendly nod and smile, the second lady thanked Kalu and continued on her way. And so, the sun began to set. Kalu returned home, her spirit uplifted by her encounters. Kalu Beta, I can see something is on your mind. Come, sit with me. Mama, today was a bit different at the market. The first lady thought that the milk was expensive, but the second one wanted the sea instead. It's all right, my child. Sometimes people have different preferences. What's matter is that we keep trying. Kalu Beta, today we will try something different. Let us make a special dish. What is a special dish, Amma? We are going to make here a creamy rice pudding. First, we will soak the rice.
Then we will then we will let the milk warm up on the stove. Watch next step. Once the milk is warm, we will add the soaked rice. Yeah, let it cook gently. Of course, my cutest one, you can keep an eye on it so the milk doesn't spill. Now we will add sugar. Now let it simmer to a creamy consistency. Amma, what's that golden thread in the key? Oh, that's saffron dear. It adds a lovely color and delicate flavor. We also used cardamom powder. We have made a delicious kheer. You know what? You could even take some to the market and sell it. Sell kheer, Amma? Yes, dear. People love the rich taste of kheer. You might enjoy it as much as we do. And that's how Kalu took her mother's kid to the market, my dear. As the moonlight gently embraced the night, Minnie drifted into dreams, just like you. And with that, we end this chapter of our story.